Hi by the community, Mike here. And today's video is a response to a thread. And I've just watched my mate Berwickshire Mike up there in Berwickshire up in the Scottish borders uh, do his response. And at the end, he said that uh, this was something that was right up my street and that I ought to have a go. And I totally agree with him. Anyway, the thread comes from a guy called Ed. And Ed's over in the United States. He's a new channel. And he's called uh, On My Turntable. And what he wants us to do is to show five or ten albums from female-fronted bands, uh, all-female bands, female singer-songwriters. And uh, the idea behind it is that he thinks that women don't get uh, nearly enough recognition in the BC as they should. And I totally agree with him. So after you showed your ten, uh, he wants us to also... Uh, talk about a gig we've been to uh, for one of the artists that we've shown and just to talk a little bit about that. So uh, that's what I'll do. So um, first off is uh, a band that I've loved for years and years, and this is uh, 10,000 Maniacs. This is their second album, The Wishing Chair. And it's a bit sort of New York indie, but very folky, this album. And... The lead singer and uh, the person who writes a lot of the songs anyway is uh, Natalie Merchant. And Natalie's got an absolutely phenomenal voice. And uh, yeah, 10,000 Maniacs. I'm sure you've heard of them, but uh, if you haven't, go and check them out because they're wonderful. So that's number one. So here's number two. Right, number two is a band that's formed in Birmingham in the... Uh, late 70s, early 80s, and uh, it's these guys, it's the Au Pairs, and the Au Pairs are a sort of post-punk band, and uh, they were fronted by uh, a singer called uh, Leslie Woods, uh, she was also the guitarist, and then the bass player was uh, uh, another, another female artist, uh, Jane Monroe, and this is called Playing With A Different Sex, and I've actually been to see Au Pairs quite a few times, uh, you know, back in the day, and, you know, they're absolutely wonderful, but that's not the gig I want to talk about, uh, so I'll, I'll leave that till the end. So, we've got uh, some great tracks on here, there's Repetition, which is, um, oddly, I always think, a David Bowie uh, pen tune, and it's about domestic violence, and it's, it, it's really done justice by the au pairs here, and then We're So Cool is, is a great one, Unfinished Business, and it's obvious, um, really good. I mean, they were pretty big for a little while, around about 1980, 81, back in the UK, and uh, I still think they're great. So that's the au pairs. Right, next up is a band from Canada. And uh, it's these guys, they're called Ostra, and this is Future Politics. And Ostra are really the project of... Uh, singer, songwriter, producer, uh, Katie Stelmanis. And she's the only constant member uh, in the band. And this album is from 2017. I think it was probably their second or third album. I can't recall. But uh, there was a single on this. Um, it's called I Love You More Than You Love Yourself. And it got a little bit of radio play here in the UK. But other than that, I don't think I've really heard them. I certainly... Certainly not seen them shown on the VC before, but they're they're from Toronto, uh, electronic uh, sort of dreamy pop music, and yeah, they're great. This is Ostra from Canada. Now I'm getting into dangerous territory. Now, Martin, if you're watching, I'm just about to mispronounce the names of uh, quite a few Nordic uh, musicians, so. Uh, Please forgive me. I've made a rod for my own back here. I just, I was just looking at the list and I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to see if I can pronounce these names. And I'll, I'll have a go, but I'm sure it'll be terrible. Anyway, first up is uh, all female three piece band. They're sort of indie rock, uh, noise rock, sort of punky, punky band. And this is their uh, first album called More Nothing from 2017. And uh, these guys are from Denmark. So their names are Benedict uh, Pierre Leone, 
Then there's Lola Hammerich. She's one of the vocalists. And then the vocals are shared with uh, Andrea Susan Johansson. I think that's how you pronounce it. You probably don't pronounce it like that. But anyway, that's it. So they're a great band, you know, discovered them. Well, when they, when they came out in 2017, I thought, have a listen. And yeah, they're really good. So this is it, Baby in Vain. Uh, next up, uh, not a Nordic singer as far as I can tell. This is uh, Holly Cook. And uh, it's a bit of reggae. And I promised myself that I would show a bit more reggae after complaining in a previous video that reggae doesn't get nearly enough uh, uh, time on the VC. So it's called Vessel of Love. As I say, it's by Holly Cook. And uh, it's her album from 2018. I think it was her third album. Now, Holly Cook is the daughter of Paul Cook, the uh, erstwhile drummer of the Sex Pistols. And her mother, uh, Lenny, was um, a backing singer for Culture God. And uh, she was she was a member of Slit. She was a backing singer for the Slits, sort of from about mid two thousand, about two thousand and five, to when they kind of split up in two thousand and ten. Um, and uh, yeah, she's she's great. She's great. This is you know, it's kind of like very sort of you know, lovers rock sort of uh, uh, reggae. And uh, yeah, yeah, I love the cover. It's called uh, Vessel of Love. Right, back to uh, mispronounced Scandinavian names or Nordic names, and this is Dream Wife. And uh, again, it's a it's a post punk uh, all female trio, and uh, they were formed in Brighton. They met at college in Brighton, and they're now based in London. And the lead singer of uh, this band, the lady in the middle there, is called Raquel Miol, and I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but she's from Iceland. And her vocals really give her sort of, you know, a, a great edge to uh, this stuff. And uh, yeah, she she's really good, they're really good. This is their, this is their second album uh, called So When You Gonna. And uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's great stuff. Um, I'll show you the inside. There you go. Yeah, I've seen these guys as well, and uh, they're really good live. So there you go. That's uh, Dream Wife. Now, from Icelandic names to mispronounce, it's a uh, uh, Norwegian name, a Norwegian name to mispronounce. And this is a band called Flunk. And uh, Flunk, this is their album Morning Star. It came out in I think about 2003, something like that. But this is a reissue and it's an extended version from uh, 2022. And Flunk, a very sort of, you know, down tempo, a bit, uh, you know, electronic synth pop, you know, really, really lovely. And uh, there they are. And um, they do, they do quite a few covers as well. I mean, on this album, they've got uh, a cover of the Kinks all day and all of the night, and also uh, a cover of True Faith, which is a New Order song that I think gets covered an awful lot by various people, and it's nearly always done really well, I think. Anyway, the lead singer of Flunk, the lady there in the yellow hat, she is called Anya Oyen Vista. And uh, she's got this lovely, lovely voice. She's absolutely brilliant. So this is Flunk from Norway. Right. Next off, I'll show this. And uh, this is from uh, Francois Zardy. And we've just learned today that sadly she died at the age of 80. And, uh, you know, she was a sort of megastar in France. And what a beautiful woman she was. And uh, this is uh, her album from about 1964, I think it is, and it's called uh, uh, Mon Ami La Rose. And uh, yeah, she was just fantastic. She she was a sort of a superstar of French sort of yay uh, pop music, but she's so much better than you know than just being a, a pop singer. 
She was absolutely fantastic. We've got loads and loads of her albums. And absolutely adore her voice. And, and, and she, you know, she was a beautiful woman. Anyway, so that's uh, France Bazardi from France. Okay. Right. I think, yeah, this is the last Scandinavian one. And this is a bit of uh, uh, psych rock, kraut rock. Um, and it's uh, Josephine Orn and the Liberation. And uh, she was from Stockholm. Uh, I think she's now living in, working in the UK. And this is uh, the band's album from 2016. It's called Mirage. And you just have to look at the cover, don't you, to know that this is a, a psych rock album. I think it's, I think it's a great album, great cover. So there you go. That's uh, Josephine Orn. And finally, a uh, lady is probably my favourite female artist, if I had to choose. And she's somebody that I really adore. And this is Jane Weaver. And this is her album from 2015 called The Amber Light. And there it is. And she's very, very dreamy, electronic, uh, pop, art rock. Really, really lovely. She's got a fantastic voice. And uh, track on here, um, I think it's yeah, the second track on, on side one called I Need a Connection, which is my all-time favourite Jane Weaver song. And uh, I went to see her. In fact, I saw her twice in the space of about a week because... She she did a gig at the uh, Rudenell Social Club in Leeds that uh, that I went to. I l absolutely love the Rudenell Social Club. It's my favourite venue of all time. It's, you know, pro probably two or three hundred people can get into the main room at any one time. And uh, yeah, it, the atmosphere there is always fantastic. But before she played at the Rudenell, about a week earlier, she did an in store. Uh, performance at Jumbo Records in Leeds that, uh, that I went to and uh, she admitted at the time that she was still uh, learning the, uh, the set for the, uh, the, the, upcoming, uh, the upcoming tour and uh, you know ju judging by her performance at the Brood another week later she, she succeeded in, um, in, in learning all the stuff uh, at, the, at the record store it was just her with a with her guitar, and uh, at the Brood now it was a uh, you know full band, and and she did say that it's a lot easier to play with a band behind you than it is to perform solo, or at least that's how she finds it. Anyway, this is the album that she's touring, and it's an absolutely brilliant album. There you go. It's called The Constant Spectacle, and uh, yeah, and it's it, yeah she signed it for me to Mike. But from Jane, and then also got this uh, promotional uh, photograph that it's also signed. So uh, there you go. Yes, she was absolutely brilliant. I mean, the new album's fantastic. And what really made my day is that uh, she encored with uh, my uh, my my favourite tune from uh, from here. I need a connection. So. You know, all round, it was an absolutely fantastic gig. So, so that's it. So, I'll leave a link to uh, Ed's channel so you can go over and uh, support him. And, uh, you know, have a go yourself. And uh, thanks very much, uh, Mike, Berkshire Mike, for pointing me in the right direction of this one because I've really enjoyed doing it. So, until next time, see ya.